So straight ahead, like Baringo. Baringo ama Bogoria. These things confuse me every time. That is Baringo. Freshwater lake. It's huge. But then Bogoria is just next to it, although we can't see Bogoria. But look at that. This is a very hilly place. Looks so nice. We are like Baringo. Oh, I almost call it Bogoria again. <laughs> A boat ride. Oh yeah. So the last time I was here, the water levels were almost covering those buildings. So I can see it as a rescinded back down. But you can see this side, uh, like that electricity pole is still underwater. I you tell you what is the mile. So I'm betting that you don't mind seeing it, Anna. Ah. This entire hotel was submerged in water, and I have a picture to show, like how far the water reached. So they've decided to put like these barriers to help, you know, with the waves to not cross over to the other side. There's a crocodile right there on top of that rock. I don't think it's going to be visible. Umesema hizi crocodile ni friendly. So ni friendly wenye atunaza simama kando yake. Hey, me hakuna story na crocodile friendly. Hey, me stuck. All this was underwater. Habari? Naweza piga boti nyewe picha? Eh. Yeah. Boti nyewe nikaanza yeah. kuuliza wewe ndio ulitengeneza? Unachukua 6 hours kuunda. 6 hours kutengeneza? Yeah. Unatumia material nyingine inaitwa balsam. 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 Sasa hii ni eh unaona nikishotoa so I have to say this is one of the most ingenious boats ever. So this is called balsa on wood. So it comes from a tree to a committee. Then uh, using this, they dry it first. No, they soak it in water for three days. So after soaking it in water for three days, it, that's when now it can it can be carved to create like those shapes. Yeah. Ah, yeah, and then uh, they get this product from this side only yeah. of the mainland. Yeah, this is just ingenious, and it's interesting that he's not afraid of the crocodiles or anything because uh, <laughs> the crocodiles here are friendly because they feed the crocodiles, but the crocodiles from this other side are not that friendly. So that's interesting, which is which can be true because right there where there's that hotel, uh, there's guys just swimming like right there, and there's crocodiles maybe five meters away. Or even less. Yeah. And yeah, the crocodiles are just chilling and everyone is just minding their own business. So this is quite, quite interesting. I've seen almost a similar boat. So I was always in curious about this boat because uh, in Turkana, instead of building like this, uh, they just use three logs. So Nimbao Tatu, Alafu Mefunganisha. Ivo tu. So yeah, in the sun, like how almost clever it is that different regions but almost uh, a similar way of uh, yeah okay ah. uh, yeah, oh yeah he's saying that uh, before this tree used to be way wider but nowadays maybe climate change or something else nowadays is now it's it's a bit narrow so I sent sana Joshua. Jinezi samaki zinetuaje? Babas. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, okay. So we katu net chini alafu. Lazima kuka kubo kuchinda kwa. Nata ya one. Alpha meter. Oh, but this is a particular one deep kabisa. Nezataka kujaribu kuendesha hiyo kitu siku moja. 
Yeah, whenever you're in like Baringo, please definitely try find Joshua, buy the fish, promote him, cause I mean seriously, that is just genius. So Santi. Yeah, Lake, Lake Baringo has several islands. There's one called Ruko, and then there's this other one here, which has a which has a hotel. I couldn't get the name. There's this, which I think is the biggest island. It also has people who stay there. There's schools, and then there's another island there. Yeah, it's quite big. Currently, we are going to the hot springs, which is on this island, but behind it. So we'll be going round. Yeah, there's a very nice breeze, but then you can also, from here you can see how dominant the escarpments of the Rift Valley are, like you can see, you know, over that horizon. So somewhere down the other side is where Lake Baringo is. Oh, I got it right this time, I kept forgetting. So that's where Lake Baringo is. So there's a time because of climate change, these two lakes almost uh, joined together. That was maybe sometime in 2020, yeah, during the pandemic era. So this side is an escarpment, and then this other side, this other side is also an escarpment. So we are literally at the floor. So from here, the next one is uh, Lake Nakuru, Lake Naivasha, Lake Elementaita, Lake Naivasha. Then Lake, uh, what? I think it's Magadi. Going this way north, there is uh, Lake Solai, there is Lake uh, Turkana, and I think Lake Logipi. So, uh, in total, there's supposed to be like, I think, nine lakes on the floor of the Rift Valley just here in Kenya. Yeah, quite an amazing scenery. So there's a fishy girl there. <laughs> yeah, we are trying to get the attention of the bird. So he's going to throw that fish and then the eagle is going to come and get it. Oh, there, there's, there it is. There's the eagle. Look, 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 look. Both of the eagles. Oh, grabbed it. <laughs> Ah, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, the eagles are now just eating the fish. Yeah, so it's going to throw another fish. Then uh, maybe the eagle is going to come again. Yeah, we're going to try see if the other eagle is going to come. Okay, there it is coming. There it is. Oh, nice! <laughs> so that's the island that had giraffes that were evacuated to the mainland. Huh? Yeah, so all the giraffes and all the animals were evacuated to the mainland because, again, the water levels were going up and they couldn't survive there. Yeah, we are going to get some uh, fish from these guys so that you can try feeding the eagles again. That was super fun. Lung fish. Uh, ah. So lung fish, no, need catfish. Tilapia. Ah. So this is where the hot springs are. Uh, it's not far. Where are they? Oh, right there. Where there's like some smoke coming out. Let me go. Maybe sleepers.
Ε, πολε, πολε. Ε, α, easy too. Yeah, going to check out the hot springs. Yeah, I can't even hear them. It's like uh, a boiling sound. And there's a very strong smell of something like sulfur. Uh, 210. 210 degrees. Yeah, that's very hot. So it's like, uh, yeah, this is definitely sulfur. Because of the yellowish. Uh, Yeah, okay. I should have removed this life jacket. It's so hot. <laughs> uh, no, it's hot. So it's bubbling under. Any 75 degrees Celsius. So this 75 degrees. Yeah, so it's bubbling and it also joins the water. But any motor. Warm. New warm, uh, 30 degrees. Ah, uh, so so. Yeah, this is interesting. So, apa karibu ni moto? Ni warm. Yeah, you can hear the boiling. So the steam, this steam that's important. If you have steam rushes, asthmatic, coughing, you can go that way. Or to the other side and stand in front of the steam. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm going to have arthritis in, in old age. So, <laughs> let me stand there. Edgar, There's a log which you can sit on. Uh, <laughs> so, currently, I'm trying to cure my arthritis in the future. So, you just sit here for a few hours, maybe. Or maybe and then. Uh, Says that yeah, asthmatic, open, joints, yeah, asthma, you know, rashes, rashes, joint, broken, 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 yeah. Yeah, Edgar is just enjoying the sauna there. You know. Uh, I'd like to touch the water down there where they say it's uh like thirty degrees so people can swim there and you know the water all around this place, even that side is bubbling. So this area, not very huge, where you can swim in the hot water, or rather warm water. But this is very hot, 75 degrees, that is very hot. And here it's 210 degrees. Unfortunately, you can't even sit properly because uh, it's covered with these rocks. But you can hear the sound just bubbling. Like... Yeah, that's the sound. So. Yeah, so this is like uh, B Bogoria. Oh, I don't know if I'll ever stop confusing Bogoria and Baringo. <laughs> this is like Bogoria. Interesting enough is uh, most of the lakes along uh, Rift Valley also have hot springs. Right from like Turkana, they have a hot spring. Uh, even like Magadi has a hot spring, like Naivasha. I'm not sure if like Naivasha has, but I know like Elementita has hot springs. So yeah, definitely this is a place to visit, you know. It's a very interesting place. And uh, the local guides, Henry and Robert, yeah? Yeah. yeah. That's Henry right there. And that's Robert right there. That's Edgar who has refused to leave that seat. <laughs> sure, yeah, I'll take the contacts and leave them, you know, so that you can, if anyone wants to come here, just call them, you know, and be like, oh, I want to see the hot springs. And they'll, they're going to assist you with everything. Because these guys used to, they used to stay in that island, the one that the animals were evacuated and then they moved to this other side. And uh, yeah, for most people here, they, you know, they depend on the tourism because 
See, it's very rocky. You can't really plant here, and there's nothing much economically that you can say you can do apart from tourism and maybe working in hotels and things like that. So yeah, definitely when you visit, check out the contacts. They've given me the permission to leave the contacts, so yeah, check out the contacts and reach out to them. Now it's time to head back to Nairobi. Yeah, Robert here is saying he, uh, he has given me an invite to come and we can do like uh, making of the boat from scratch. So yeah, I, I want to do that. I'm definitely going to do that 100%. I love such things. So yeah, that's it. But that, that's very interesting. Now going back to the mainland. Hey, Robert and Henry, asante ni sana. A San Sana Noah for the our amazing boat ride. Yeah, I'm also going to put his number. I mean Pierre Ruhusa, so yeah, I'm going to put his number so in case anyone wants to do like a boat right here, yeah. definitely reach out to him.